In this video, I will create a custom material in AutoCAD. AutoCAD has many generic and predefined materials like brick, metal, wood, plastic, rubber, fabric and other kind of materials. These materials can be used to create 3D illustrations or 3D presentation drawings. But you can create your own material as well in AutoCAD from scratch and that is what we are going to look in this video tutorial. So make sure you are in 3D modeling workspace. So click on this drop down and change it to 3D modeling. You can also go to 3D modeling workspace from this arrow or this gear icon. So click on this gear icon and change it to 3D modeling if that drop down menu is not visible. Once you are in 3D modeling workspace, go to visualize tab and click on this material browser. You can alternatively use its command equivalent which is MAT and press enter. So a material browser palette will pop up. On this palette you'll find here on the bottom an icon which states creates a new material in the document. So all you need to do is select this arrow and select new generic material. So a new palette will open for materials editor. When you notice the previous palette, you observe that there are many materials which are already defined in AutoCAD. And when you expand this home, you'll also find that there are plenty of different materials which are categorized in different forms. So if you click on flooring, you'll find all the materials related to flooring. If you click on fabric, you'll find all the materials which are related to fabric and so on. But we are creating our own material. So let's move on to materials editor now. So here we have selected our material. Now let's make a wooden material or to be specific a oak wood material, a material which looks like a oak wood. So for that first select a name. So let's name it oak wood sample. So this will be the name of our material. Now expand this generic tab and if it is uh, and if it is not expanded then only else move to this image option now here in this option we have a blank texture so click on this and select a texture so i've already created a image for this oak wood and you can download this oak wood uh, image for texture from the description box so link for downloading this image is in description box so now click on this oak wood click on open and now as soon as you will do this you will see that the preview changes and it will now reflect our changed material also you will observe here that oak wood 600 cross 600 dot png will be added so that's the image which we have added now let's make some other changes so here glossiness is set to 50 let's change it to 30. now make sure that in highlights non-metallic is selected and will keep image fade at 100. you can also change other values like reflectivity transparency cutouts and there are many other options even you can make this object self illuminating as if it's a source of light but we are not going to make these changes now so let's keep it where it was now to make more changes click again on this texture bar and this will open again another palette. So this palette is for texture editor. Now we'll fine tune adjustments which we have already made. So here the size of the sample is 304 by 304 approximately this size. We don't want this big size of sample. So we'll reduce its size. So move down, scroll it down. And here we have the size in X and Y axis. Currently it is set to 12 units. Let's change it to 1. Press tab and change this value to 1 and press tab again. So now the size for this sample uh, texture has been changed and we are not going to make any other changes. So make sure all the other changes are retained as they were. Now once you have made all these changes, close this palette and close this palette as well. Now here you will see that a new material oak wood sample is added and this is the global generic material which we have. Now close this material browser as well. 
Now let's make a material or an object and we'll apply our material to that. For that I'll select box command, select box from modeling and now we'll create a box. So type at on command line and enter 10 comma 10 comma 10. So this will make a box with length, width and height equal to 10 units and press enter. So here we have our box. Let's go to this uh, drop down again for our solid primitives and select cone and this time click at another point and give it a radius of 5 unit and height of 10 unit. So here we have a box and a cone. Now let's change this visual style as well because right now in 2D wireframe style even if we apply the material we won't be able to see it. So change this visual style from here and change it to realistic. Now you can clearly see that we don't have any material applied to this. Let's go and apply the material. For that, let's bring our material browser. So for that type MAT on command line and press enter. So this will again bring our material browser. Now all you need to do is drag and drop your material on the objects which we have made. So here's the material which we have made, drag it and drop it on this material. Again drag it and drop it on this material and here we have it. So now this object exactly looks like a oak wood sample and we have applied our own custom material to these objects. You can create as many materials as you want. You can even create a glass, a transparent glass, a glass which is translucent, a self illuminating bulb or other kind of material. So go on experiment with this material browser and if you have any questions, if you face any difficulty, let me know in the comment box and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.